hello everyone so in this video we are going to install python on our machine more specifically we are going to install the anacondas distribution of python so the reason that we are installing anacondas distribution of python is because with just a single installation along with python uh, it gives us a lot of data analysis visualization and machine learning packages which comes along with a single installation <clears throat> so packages such as numpy pandas matplotlib scikit-learn and many others so it's not just that uh, along with this it also comes with a good package manager so that even if you want some other packages you can install it easily with the anacondas package manager okay and also it comes with a very good uh, IDE called Jupyter Notebook which we will be seeing in this video so to be able to land up on this page or to download the um, file for installation just type in Google download <coughs> anacondas and click on the official link so if you scroll down here we have uh, the file for different operating systems such as Windows Mac and Linux so I am using a Windows machine or and the uh, and 64-bit architecture so I'm going to download this <coughs> 637 MB so I'm not going to download it again because if you can observe I have already downloaded the file and kept so let's just proceed with the installation so I will just right click on it and run as administrator so the reason for doing that is because we want to install the software for all the users of this machine So we'll click on next. I agree. So here's something that you want to do is you want to install the software for all the users, right? I'll click on next. <clears throat> Let's go with the default folder where the software is going to install. It's in C program data and Anaconda 3. We'll click on next. And also um, check this checkbox which says add anaconda to system path environment variable <clears throat> so we'll, we'll check the checkbox and we'll click on install So I guess the installation is complete. Now we'll click on next. Okay, we'll click on next, and uh, yeah. So now that installation is complete, let us try to uh, verify it by writing a simple 
hello world program we're going to use uh, the Jupyter notebook to write the program so I am going to e drive I'll create a new folder and call it as Python tutorials so I'm going to create the Jupyter notebook file inside here so we're gonna have to open up the Jupyter notebook in any folder just you have to open the command prompt first so in the address bar I'll just type CMD sorry and this will open up a command prompt now to open up a Jupyter notebook in this particular folder you just have to write Jupyter space notebook so what this is going to do is it's going to open up the Jupyter notebook ID in your default browser and the root folder will be the folder whichever you have chosen I mean the from where you have opened up the command prompt okay next thing that we want to do is we're going to have to click on new and python 3 <clears throat> so let us save the name of the file as tutorial 1 and rename so if you observe in the folder where you open up the command prompt the file is now saved tutorial one dot i python notebook which is a Jupyter notebook file so we, let's we are gonna, next we're gonna write a simple hello world program so we'll simply write print and say hello world now to execute this cell you have two options one is to you, you can click on this run button or else you can use a shortcut which is shift plus enter so I will type shift and enter so the output appears just below the cell okay so now the installation is complete and um, uh, we are also able to write programs in Python especially in the Jupyter notebook so next we're gonna concentrate on other tutorial videos